Welcome back to the Big Room's YouTube channel. I'm Hex and I was in a series of points of practice about the world of design. In this video, I'm going to be reforming a crochet sweater. So I have all these crochets, these scraps of yarn um, in varying shades of gray and purple. And I'm going to really want to um, try and use my scraps up in bigger projects and not just little bits here and there. And so I really wanted to make a sweater for some time. I originally thought I was going to use these scraps to make a knitted sweater, but I've had in my head this idea of a crochet pullover that I really want to do. And I've actually just finished swatching. I found a stitch pattern and everything. This is the stitch pattern. This is my little swatch. Um, it's listed in my stitch dictionary as the thicket pattern. It's really simple and it's exactly what I was looking for. It, it's a lot of fun to do. It's just single crochets and double crochets and it just makes this really nice texture. So this is what I'm going to be doing the sweater in. I'm going to be doing the sweater, the pullover, um, in pieces, which is something I found straight from, especially when doing crochet garments. I really only made crochet garments like this, what I'm wearing. Um, this is actually the basic tee pattern by um, Hooked on Homemade Happiness. It's a circular top down yoke, it's kind of what I usually do. The pullover I'm going to be designing is going to be done in pieces. I'm going to do um, a front sec, a front, a back, and then I'll probably actually do the sleeve in pieces also, just because I probably want this stitch pattern to lay. Um, I like I see doing it, like a long rectangle and then folding it up. Um, I'm going to be sketching out my idea and kind of figuring out what to do with the colors because what I want is like thin stripes of color, um, but I don't know with my scraps if I will be able to get a front and a back in those colors. So what I might end up doing is just doing the front in the scraps and then the back I have a lot of this um, gray color so and I can easily get more of this. So I might do like the back and the sleeves in this and just use the front to use up the scraps to show off the color. I plan on doing a v-neck and I've kind of made mistakes with v-necks in the past so that's going to be fun to figure out. But that's the plan right now and I thought I'd take you along with me. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've reformed a lot of knitted sweaters. Um, I can really, I can make up a, a sweater in knitting pretty easily. Like I know how to get my numbers and everything. Um, but crochet sweaters I haven't done that a lot for, so I'm really excited about this and hopefully it goes out well. I'm using moisture weight yarn and a 5.5 hook. Um, I did my little swatch here to try the stitch pattern. My gauge, I kind of want this to be a little bit oversized, um, so I'm thinking I'll do... Um, I'm typically a 34 inch bust, that's kind of what I go for when I make, um, when I follow sweater patterns. But I kind of want this a little bit oversized, so maybe I'll do 36 inches around, um, considering in panels. So that's the plan. We'll see. I'm very lazy with gauge. <laughs> so we'll see. But I kind of want the oversized fit. And let's just get started. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm going to do for the striping, how many rows per color and all that. Um, but I kind of have it laid out here. Um, since I'll, I'll probably end up doing at least the sleeves all in gray and possibly the back too, I figure I'll start with a small stripe of the this gray at the bottom. And then I'll kind of, like I don't want the colors, I want them to stripe, not fade. So I really don't know how I'm going to do it. But they're all very similar shades anyway. Um, except that some of these are like multicolored and this actually has different shades inside um, this yarn. So I kind of have to do it as I go. Um, but still try and get what I envision in my head. So that's the fun and also the challenge working with the scrappy bread. So it's actually two days later and I've been working pretty monogamously on my sweater here. I've made quite a bit of progress. So I've decided to stripe four rows of each color. Um, I'm pretty happy with the color placement. I have a lot more gray than like these brighter colors down here. I'm not really happy about this part with this purple and this dark gray. Together they kind of look too close. Um, it didn't look that way with the skeins when I held them up, but... So I'm not too happy about that stripe. That kind of bothers me, but I already, by the time I noticed it, I was already done with the next gray stripe. Um, so it's fine. It's a scrappy sweater. That's the point. But I'm really enjoying it. It's a really fun stitch pattern. It's literally just single crochets and double crochets and skip stitches. It's super easy. It makes such a nice texture. So I'm really liking it. I ended up doing actually um, chaining 80 stitches for 20. I'll have a 40 inch um, circumference by the end of it. 20 um, inches for each panel. That way um, it'll actually be more of a drop shoulder than what I was originally going for to kind of get the shape I want. 
so I shared a picture um, of this is like my sketch for it just um, in this little sketchbook just the shape I was going for how I kind of want the neckline to lay some ideas of the colors and I wrote down the measurements I was going for um, my how many stitches I started with I actually think I figured out for what I have to do for the sleeves, how I'm going to do the sleeves. I'm actually still debating whether or not I'm going to do them um, cast on the length of the whole sleeve and do the depth or if I'm going to do um, the circumference and do it like a scarf. I'm still unsure of how I am how I want the stitch pattern to lay. I don't think it matters because it'll lay... I don't know. I have to think about it when I get there. But this is how I... when I make up a sweater pattern, how I sketch it out and just so I can see everything and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um, but that's, that's good progress. I think I'm probably, I don't know what I'm going to do for the back since I'm, like I still have quite a bit of yarn left, but it would, the back will have to be then, if I stripe the back, it'll have to be a little bit different from the front and I don't know if I'll like that. I might end up doing it all in gray. That's another thing. If I do the sleeve, if I do it like a regular, how I would normally do it, like, um, cast on the circumference and then knit and then crochet the length um, then at the end I can actually do like one row stripes of each color to kind of make the sleeve a bit more stripey just like for the cuff because what I want for the cuff is I want it to be um, doubled over just like make a double thick cuff that way I don't have to do ribbing but it'll also be thick enough that I can push my sleeves back and they'll stay because that drives me crazy but good progress um, I really want to get the front done at least pretty soon. I don't know how long this project's going to take, so. But yeah, it's coming along. So it's been a few days since I last checked in. I have made a lot of progress. Um, I kind of took a little bit of a break from the project just because the color management was really getting to me. I wasn't sure if I liked how it was going, but I fixed all my problems. I really like how it's looking. So I finished the front panel. You can kind of see from my stripes, I'll be honest, I think I talked about this, I'm not thrilled with this part down here. These colors were too close together once worked up. They didn't look that way in the skein, but they just kind of became too close together. But I ended up using more of this light gray than I thought I would. But I kind of like how the overall, like it looks almost planned out, but still scrappy. So I kind of have had going like two colors, gray, two colors, gray. Then I only had, I was running out of like how much I could get in a row. And then I did end up with this wider stripe here. So all these little stripes are four stripes. This one is eight stripes. And then I did some neckline shaping. I'm really happy with the neckline came out. I didn't want like, I usually get like a dramatic V and I didn't want that. So once I do like an edging, um, I think it'll be more circle shaped, but I really like how it's looking. Um, I like how I achieved the drop shoulder effect with having the wide, with the stitch count I was using. I just, I'm, I think I'm really gonna like it once it's all together. And then the back is also almost done. So I couldn't like make the front and back match perfectly, just wasn't gonna work out with how much yarn I had. So what I ended up doing is um, I used more of the like, even more of the light gray than in the front. Um, for every, like you can kind of see, I had enough of the, this blue to get that stripe in, that blue stripe, but I ended up, um, it just instead of having another stripe I just used the gray for that stripe so this is actually eight blocks of gray instead of the four and then a contrast if that kind of makes sense so when I seam it up like the stripe will still some of them will still line up and this wide chunk of this multicolor scrap will line up so it'll 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 look good once it's seamed. Like, it'll still have that scrappy effect, but it will be very smooth, I think. So, I'm almost done with this. I actually think I have... I think I planned it to do... Because I'm not going to do the shaping on the back of the neckline, I'm just going to do it straight. I'm doing these four stripes of grey, and then I think what I'll end up doing is I'll do the four stripes, I'll do eight stripes of this grey. This like multicolored gray just so I have a stripe on the back 
and then finish it with the four stripes of the solid gray again. That's what I'm going to do. And then I should have enough to just do the sleeves in a gray and then um, I figure I'll do some like pretty sort of edging with these leftovers. Um, just like little, maybe like two rows of single crochet or something. I don't know yet what I have in mind. But I used up a lot of the scraps. Um, let me just neaten up my basket here. I could put the project in this basket so I can easily see all the colors. So I have a little bit of this gray of this multicolor. This is actually garbage. This is just a bunch of little ends woven up. So these actually can go in my scrappy blanket. And I only have these left, which I plan on using a little bit for before they go in the scrappy blanket. And this they'll have a good amount of this left and just these big balls of gray so I'm really liking I'm really kind of proud of myself that I am, have figured out like I pulled this off because it seemed a little bit daunting to start with but I really like it and I think it's gonna look really good sewn together so next time I check in hopefully I will have a completed body and be moving on to the sleeves I have the body completed. I did the seaming. I'm really happy with how the neckline came out. It's much better than I was anticipating. Um, so I, I seamed the sides. I'm a little bit off. My goal was to have like the same color stripes line up. A little bit off. Um, it's okay. It's fine. Here's the back. I think it has this very cohesive look, which is what I was going for. Um, I started the first sleeve, I decided I'm going to do the sleeves this way, so I chained um, this amount and I'll be doing the circumference back and forth. Um, I think this is, all my sleeves are going to be um, solid gray, so yep. Pretty, pretty pleased with it. It's, it's a success so far, so I like how I got the the drop shoulder effect because that's been my biggest problem with this sort of construction, so. Can you even? I am so just proud of this right now. I I love it. Um, I do feel on the seams, um, it's a little bit tighter than I would have liked. It's not like skin tight, but like I can feel the sleeve of my t-shirt underneath. Um, but I'm really proud. It wasn't as bad as seaming this as I expected it to be. It was actually kind of fun. Um, I love that I got these like contrasting stripes on the sleeve. Like I did the last two rows of the sleeve in this contrast and then I did the seams in it. My sleeves are very long, which I wanted because I wanted to be able to cuff them. I am just, I'm so proud of this. I think it's so cool that all of this are scraps, but, but it doesn't look like a scrappy sweater and yet it just, I love it and I love this style of sweater. I love how it fits. Um, I knew I would, but it just, the process of getting around to, to I don't know this I love the style of this sweater I think I don't really like I prefer doing my sweaters in one piece but I really love the drop shoulder effect um, and I don't know I'm just like obsessed so I haven't actually like weighed the sweater and see how much yarn it used um, it was all worsted weight um, another thing I really love about it I love the texture of the stitch pattern like um, I don't know what this stitch pattern is called I think I might have mentioned it in the earlier part of this vlog. I also don't know how long this sweater took because it could have been done a lot quicker. Um, maybe I can have like a, a scoreboard on the screen about how long it took. But the texture of the stitch feels really nice. I, I don't know, I just... Uh, most of these yarns are Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in various colorways or Yarn Bee. Um, just 100% acrylic yarns. And I know with wear and washing and drying that the sweater will also soften. But it's just... I'm just really happy with it, um, and I want to make more sweaters of this construction. 
and it was so much fun. I'm really proud of how I managed the colors and did the striping and kind of got like the back and the front do not match, but this very like, and if my seaming were a little bit better, it would be even more clean and more intentional looking. I just, yeah, um, I'm pretty proud of this. So that is the end of this little crochet with me a vlog video, whatever I end up calling it. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you've ever done like a sweater in this construction, if you've ever um, use your scraps in this kind of more thought out methodical way. I love just using up scraps and like scrappy blankets and just letting it the colors be crazy but this was also just so much fun and I kind of want to go through my scraps and do more <laughs> of it so comment down below if you've ever done anything like that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting!